Hello, everyone. As you may already know, holding a power clam will charge your special. But it doesn't always work. You see, there are a lot of mechanics that go into using the power clam to charge your special. Let's talk about that. Let's start with the basics. How fast does the power clam charge your special? To answer this question, I measured the time it took to fully charge an inkjet and a bubble blower. Both measurements started from the frame in which the charge began and ended with the frame in which the special was ready to use. It took 56 seconds to fully charge an inkjet, which needed 170p to charge, and it took a minute and 6 seconds to fully charge a bubble blower, which needed 200p to charge. Using the information for the charge speed on both specials, I was able to calculate that the power clam only charges your special with 3p per second. The gear abilities stack with power clam charge. For this question, I decided to test out two abilities which would influence your special charge. Special charge up and tenacity. Since there was no good way to accurately measure the charge boost while inking turf, this test only involved the impact of the charge rate while standing around. Since special charge up only impacts the charge speed while inking turf, it had no impact on the power clamp charge speed. Tenacity on the other hand, was a whole nother story. Before checking how tenacity works with power clam charge, I measured the base rate for tenacity with one teammate down. This bit is important because the charge rate of tenacity depends on the difference between how many inklings are alive on your team and the other. Anyways, as noted on the wiki, the charge rate was 2.19p per second, taking a full minute and 18 seconds to charge an inkjet. However, here comes the juicy part. Tenacity stacks with power clam charge. It only took 32 seconds to fully charge an inkjet with tenacity and a power clam together, and that was with only one teammate down. This also means that with 3 inklings down on your team, you would be getting nearly 10p per second. This information is great and all, however, the power clam does not always charge your special. But before we go into the complicated stuff, does holding more than one power clam speed up the special charge? Sadly, the charge up ability of the power clam doesn't stack. So it doesn't matter if your team has 1 clam or 4. The charge rate will always be the same. However, the amount of clams the other team has and the current score of the game are both very, very important. Power clam charge during a tie. This usually happens in the start of the game, since once a team scores, no more ties are allowed. During a tie, the only time you can charge your special with a power clam is if the other team has no power clams. Just to clear things up a bit. By no clams, I mean no player is holding a power clam. While the power clam is on the ground and not held by a player, the charge effect will not activate. So as soon as both teams have a power clam, the charging stops for both sides. Power clam charge while you're in the lead. Your team scored and now you're in the lead. Good job! I hope my videos helped. Now what? Well, the same rules apply as if the score was a tie. But only for you. I'll explain the mechanics for the losing team sides in a moment but the team that's in the lead goes by the same rules as before the tie was broken. That is, power clams will only charge your special if the other team isn't holding any. As soon as the other team grabs a power clam, your clam goes, bye Felicia, and your special won't charge. Power clam charge while you're losing. This YouTuber told me the clam will charge my special, but it didn't, and now we're losing. Thanks for the clickbait, Teach. Hold your horses and your downward facing thumbs, so far, the charging rules were simple. Your team has a power clam, the other team doesn't, your special charges. But wait, there's more. When your team does not have the lead, the charging mechanics are very, very different. For starters, if neither team has a power clam, your special will still charge. In addition, as long as your team possesses a power clam, your special will charge and the winning team's special will not. You heard that right. If you're not in the lead, Holding a power clam will charge your special, regardless of how many power clams the other team has. And their special will not charge. This means that when the other team scores on you, you should pick up that power clam you get as soon as it's safe to do so. This is super important because the only time the winning team can charge their special with a power clam is when your team isn't holding any. These mechanics definitely give the losing team an advantage and an opportunity to push back. So. Those are the mechanics of charging your special with the power clam. I hope this information helps you do better next time you play this mode. It makes it a bit more enjoyable. If you enjoyed the video, 
please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Are there any other game mechanics you would like to learn more about? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bonus fact! While the barrier is broken, the power clam will stop charging.